Hey, I'm psyched to announce my brand new book. Book number two, Micro Shelters, is out now. Check it out. Plan sets in that one as well. And Tiny House Summer Camp 3 in Vermont, September 18th through the 20th. Live, actual building, Tiny House Tours, and more. Check it out through RelaxShacks.com. We just have a few spaces left, and that's it. Angie from Tiny House America. We're here with Best Life 1979 doing a special edition for the Tiny House Chamboree and Derek Dietrichson's YouTube channel, RelaxShacks.com. Art.com and we're going to be taking a tour. Here he is. We're going to be taking a tour of their 1974 Gillig bus. So this is my uh, 1974 Gillig bus um, made in Hayward, California. It was originally a school bus at one point um, and then it was turned into basically a ski hauler for Mount Hood Meadows. Um, you can still see the, the vinyl lettering under the original paint job right there. Uh, or not the original but the second paint job. It also says, says it on the back. Um, and I'll show you in a second, but uh, on the inside there's a bunch of scrapes all over the ceiling um, from years and years of ski poles, um, you know, scraping, scraping the ceiling. Um, so it tells a story. It's kind of a cool bus. I like it. It's got a lot of good vibes. Um, let me give you a tour. Come on in, guys. All right, let's take a tour. So this is it. This is the inside of my Gillig. Um, as you can see, uh, it's very messy in here. It's being uh, used as an active studio, so we've got a lot of tools, a lot of supplies, and um, a lot of a lot of stuff that's uh, kind of in the making. Um, if you look up, that's what I was talking about with the ski poles. So it's got years of this awesome history. Um, you know, people coming in with their families, having fun, having a great time. I mean, this is like before the days with snowboards, you know. And uh, I don't know. I just think it tells a really beautiful history. Um, but so yeah. Do you plan on doing anything with the ceiling? No, not at all. Not at all. Now, and, and you know, it's, it's kind of a bummer in a way because I'd like to be able to do some sort of a wood slat ceiling or something like that, but it's just too cool. Oh, yeah. It's you know way I mean? it's way better, I think, to keep, I can't, to keep the history. I can't there. replicate that history. Yeah, absolutely yeah. not. Totally. Um, but, uh, yeah, so basically, uh, it's an art bus, but um, more than 50% of it is filled with Legos. What? How I've, many? I've got a lot of Legos. Like, over a million pieces. That's insane. I've guesstimated. Probably a lot more than that. What That's, do you do with them? Uh, I build them. I collect them. I enter contests with my beautiful wife, and uh, yeah, she she actually won. Uh, we've won two contests in a row. I think second place, and uh, she actually won first place by herself the one time that I didn't enter. Very cool. So I'm very proud and jealous of her for okay, that. We're gonna have to see that one. Absolutely. I'll show you what I'm what I'm talking about. So we got the original floors here. I decided, you know, for a studio bus, it was going to be perfect to just leave them because, you know, what better use than the original floors? It's free and they're vinyl, so if I spill anything on them, it's not a big deal. So you keep most of your, I mean, you keep most of your um, art projects and everything, like, pretty much in here? Yeah, and pretty much. I mean, uh, some, some of the pieces are a little too large to paint inside, um, but, you know, living tiny allows you to live a lot bigger, too. So I mean, Absolutely. Uh, the bigger pieces, I'll take them outside and put them on my easel, which right now is being stored right there. Um, but I mean, you know, we've got camping supplies in here too. I mean, we take this thing out every once in a while and, and you know, have fun with it. Fine. Um, we've got a working sink here. This is good for, you know, it, you know, everybody needs a sink kind of a deal. It, it's a pretty basic setup. It has a fresh water tank in this closet right here and it feeds into there. And then I've got a basic draining system to r run outside. Um, I've got a light table right here um, for when I need to do transfers. Unfortunately, it's broken right now because I leaned on it too hard. Um, unlike our home bus, we also have a back door on, on this one. Nice. And, uh, skate patch. Yeah, skate patch, exactly. So on, on nice hot days, that's a that's a good little breeze, breeze turner. Um, so are these your Legos? Yeah, so this is my Legos. Um, it pretty much spans the length of the bus. And like I said, it's over a million pieces. I have them, for the most part, I have them color organized. Um, so I've got entire tubs of blue, white, black, red, wow. yellow, etc. Um, some of them, you know, in the middle of projects, will have kind of a project tub where there's multiple colored pieces, but they're all kind of associated with, say, a castle or something yeah. like that. Yeah, nice. Um, and yeah, we just have a lot of fun in here. Yeah. What's this piece back here? Um, this is one of the pieces I've been working on for a couple of years now. Um, it's an oil painting. And unfortunately, I, I need to hook up my lights again right now. I'm in the middle of stuff, but um, this is a, about the size of, 
of painting that I like to do. This is kind of my comfort zone. Um, something that's kind of inspired by Salvador Dali or something that's that's a little surreal but also realistic at the same time is, is kind of the heartland of it's really nice. where I go. Thank you. Do you do a lot, you do a lot of murals too? Yeah, I paint a lot of murals. In fact, this is a big, huge art project on the outside. I've got to I've got to do a complete paint job on the outside too. Okay. Um, but yeah, I go to Portland a lot, Seattle a lot, and wherever I can get the jobs. And uh, yeah, I paint pretty pretty large most of the time. I guess we should mention where you, where we are now. <laughs> where do you live? <laughs> yeah. So um, so I'm just outside of Newport on the coast of Oregon. Okay. Um, and we have lived here for a couple of months now, but we kind of you know go up and down the coast um, with both of our buses. Um, we found this really nice little chunk of property that we're renting right now that allows us to have both buses in the same spot. Okay. Which is um, which is new for us and also a very exciting, um, you know, situation. Oh, well, absolutely. Situation. Mobile, mobile's fun. <laughs> mobile's fun, but what's even better is, you know, when I can wake up and, and still be in a bus, but then go outside and, you know, a couple clicks away, there's a, you know, a couple walks away, there's another bus and I can go in there oh, and yeah. do my thing, you know, I'm in, in one central location. Very nice. That's perfect. I get to focus. Great. Got, well, it's been so great. It's been absolutely amazing meeting you. So. <laughs> absolutely. You too. Thank and, you so much. I'm just out. like just so so stoked about being able to come out here and y'all are so close to where we live and Absolutely. being able to come out and we've made such great friends with you guys this week. It's been so much fun. Likewise. Yeah. Likewise.